what if a person believes in a flat earth but he does not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ will he still have eternal life no of course not what if a person believes in the Lord Jesus Christ but also believes the earth is a planet will he still have eternal life and the answer is yes when a man is born of the Spirit of God he shall never die never he'll never die anyone that is born of the Spirit of God will never die now what if a man or woman what if a person believes in the Lord Jesus Christ and is born of the Spirit of God but then turns around and says ah, not only do I not believe the Lord Jesus Christ I don't know the Lord Jesus Christ at all will that person still have eternal life even though he full-on rejects the Lord Jesus Christ will he have eternal life the answer is well I already gave it to you the answer is he has eternal life no matter what okay now consider this I'll get I want to get back to that but consider this Galatians 3 verse 22 but the scripture has concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe now it's not that we save ourselves by believing it's that God saves us not that we save ourselves by believing we believing has is not what saves us okay so when a person believes then God has promised to save that person that's the only way it's the only way so we are 100 percent at the mercy of God 100 percent all right go and learn what this means I will have mercy and not sacrifice so we are saved by grace through faith all right saved by grace through faith now I want to go back and consider Peter he full-on rejected the Lord Jesus Christ three times not once not twice but three times Did he reject the Lord Jesus Christ? So did he lose his salvation three times? No. No, of course not. He was saved the whole time. Even as, as he denied the Lord Jesus Christ. Denied him three times. And Jesus even told him he was going to deny him three times times but was Peter s saved did he lose the salvation no of course not you can't lose your salvation because when you are born of the Spirit of God you can never die period period you think about uh, this when Jesus says uh, whom do men 
say that I am? Whom do men say that I am? And Peter got it right, didn't he? Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter got it right. But, a few verses later, Peter got it wrong in saying that he won't let the Lord Jesus Christ suffer many things and be killed and be raised again. Peter didn't believe that. And he said, I'm not going to let that happen. And then Jesus called Peter Satan. Did Peter lose his salvation? And the answer is no. When a man, woman is born of the Spirit of God, he can never die. Never. It can't happen. It's impossible. It will not happen. It goes against the promise of God. It would it would be <laughs> impossible because when we are born of the Spirit of God, we are born of God. God will never die. Right? So we have eternal life. And we will never die. Alright, so the fact of the matter is Jesus is the Christ the Son of the Living God and that's the rock and Christ is the rock and that rock can never be broken down never Peter's not the rock obviously I mean the man he he rejected the Lord Jesus Christ he uh, tried to stop the Lord Jesus from suffering many things and being killed and being the sacrifice for the sins of the whole world and then he also wanted to stop him from rising from the grave alright so Jesus Christ is the rock and that rock was Christ so when we are born of the Spirit of God we shall never thirst we shall never hunger and we shall never die alright once we are born of the Spirit of God we are born of God we have eternal life we are saved sealed secured sanctified forever 